the ultimate problem I'd like to be examining is coastal ocean remodeling and then specifically hurricane storm surge. My main area of application that I'm interested in is uh, improving storm surge models. And one of the ways you can do that is by improving the parameters that you feed into this model, improving your estimates of those parameters, and also improving the knowledge of the uncertainty of those parameters. With that knowledge, then you can have a better forward model. Imagine you have two parameters, and I have some bounds on the plausible values of what these parameters could take, and I would form this box in 2D and say, this is the set of all values that are the inputs from my model. Most of science and engineering is an inverse problem. So for instance, when you have a storm surge coming from a hurricane or a tropical cyclone in the Gulf of Mexico, you're observing the effects of that system. So you're seeing water elevations rise along levees in New Orleans or toppling over barrier islands uh, around the Galveston Bay. And so when you, when you see this, you're trying to make predictions for a future storm so that you can coordinate with emergency evacuation personnel. And when that's the case and you have your model, there's all these uncertainties in there. I don't know necessarily what the bathymetry is, the sea depth or the friction. So with all these uncertainties, can I use the data of the things I observe and solve for the things that I cannot observe? Any way we can improve confidence in these models and quantify the uncertainty uh, in these models um, and also improve them, I think is a worthwhile endeavor, especially given the human cost um, and lives and money associated with these natural disasters. We've got really good advanced models. They've been used to do hindcasts of Katrina and Ike and Rita and Gustav. Other models are used for tsunami prediction and for tsunami modeling, but there's always room for improvement. And so if we can get them to be better and then also to be able to ask different questions about where should we do measurements? Where should we put those measurement buoys to better capture a storm so that we can better predict the flooding from the next one? The idea is not to give someone a single answer, which sometimes confounds an engineer or somebody that wants to use this. We provide them with probabilistic descriptions of what inputs could be so they can actually provide informed probabilistic predictions. If you can better predict a storm surge, you can better predict flooding from hurricanes, then I think that's a pretty good thing for planning and you know, preventing damage that's caused by hurricanes.